Hello stars, this is your Diva Star Yes. Today we are featuring the latest um, Happy Meal books from McDonald's and this is The Little People Big Dreams and if I'm not mistaken I think they've already released the seventh book. Uh, this is together with the latest Happy Meal toys that we featured last week. This is the Happy Meal Toys, the original Squishmallows. Yeah, so you can still check it out. It's still here in my YouTube channel. And uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and share because we still have an ongoing giveaway. And you'll get a chance to win the entire set, all 10 toys from Happy Meal Squishmallows, care of yours truly. All right. All right, so this new book from Happy Meal McDonald's is called I Can Be a Legendary Singer and it's featuring the story of two great musical icons namely Ella Fitzgerald and Aretha Franklin so I think out of all the seven books that has been released by McDonald's. This is so far my favorite aside from the fashion designers uh, theme book because I do love singing and I also grew up listening somehow to their song. So I'll go ahead and share with you. It's story time, story reading time. I'll go ahead and give you the story of Ella Fitzgerald and Aretha Franklin. I Can Be a Legendary Pop Star Featuring Ella Fitzgerald Little Ella grew up in New York, USA. She had a beautiful voice and loved to sing jazz. But one day, she was sent to a strict school. Ella didn't like it there and couldn't wait to leave. As she grew up, she made a living by singing and dancing on the street corners of Harlem, New York. One night, she entered a competition to perform at one of the most famous theaters in the city. She was very nervous, but dazzled the crowd with her sweet, tuneful voice. She won first prize. That night, Ella was so excited she couldn't sleep. She imagined herself singing on an even bigger stage. It wasn't long before a famous big band offered Ella her first singing job. Together, they performed in jazz clubs all over the country. Ella's career had taken off. Eventually, Ella decided it was time to sing on her own. All the great jazz musicians wanted to perform with her. The phone didn't stop ringing. Ella never sang a song the same way twice. She mastered every musical style, from jazz to pop. Her velvety voice wrapped around the audience like a blanket. And that's how little Ella became the first lady of song. As she always said, it isn't where you came from, it's where you're going that counts. And then on the next page here, as you can see, Ella recorded over 200 albums. Design a cover for an album you might record one day. So you'll have some activity here, my dearest stars. You can actually draw and put your little creativity and inspiration as how you envision your album cover.
Our next legendary pop star is no other than Aretha Franklin. If there was someone in Detroit who was born to sing, it was little Aretha. Her mother was a singer and her father believed that music could move not just people's hearts but the world. Aretha never felt alone. Her home was always filled with musicians and she learned to play the piano just by listening to them. Aretha dreamed of singing to a bigger audience. When a record company offered her a contract, she didn't think twice. Soon, her songs were climbing the charts, moving people's hearts and bodies. There was something magical about her voice. When she sang, it made people feel powerful. Aretha wrote her own songs and produced them too. She went from jazz and pop to rhythm and blues, singing every song from the bottom of her heart. She used the secret recipe when writing her songs. They had to talk about everyday ups and downs. That's what soul is all about. She recorded countless great hits and became an inspiration for many other female musicians. And no one has ever been able to sing a song quite like Karita. The Queen of Soul who won the hearts of everyone. As a grown up to help you make your own musical instrument using everyday things from home. An empty tissue box with elastic bands stretched over it makes a great guitar. An empty container filled with rice or beans can become a shaker. So you can actually put here your favorite song, the singer or group who sings it, and I love them and give them the reason why. And of course, part of the book is the glossary. Jazz means a type of music that was invented in the USA by African Americans. Big band refers to a group of jazz musicians all playing together. Album means a collection of songs. Soul, a popular style of music created by the African American community in the United States. Yes, so that's about it, stars. I hope you enjoyed the story time video for today's vlog episode. And I hope that you got really inspired and motivated by these two musical icons, Ella Fitzgerald and Aretha Franklin, right? So yes, this is available again in all McDonald's stores nationwide. So you can go ahead and purchase the book and enjoy reading all right so again if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and comment below and make sure to share this video so again this is your diva star wishing you a great week ahead of you cheers <laughs>